So the enhancement maintenance, I just want to make sure this is really important, um, that you're aware that you should have a customer source login. And within this customer source, there's something called uh, Connect. And what that Connect does is it allows you to submit uh, product suggestions, and then other customers can log in to their customer source and vote on your suggestion. So um, I just want to make sure that you're doing that when I meet with customers. Sometimes they'll say, why don't you add this to the product or this? It would be great. And the first thing I do is I say, have you put it into your customer source as a product su suggestion? So I think it's very important moving forward that you uh, make sure you're leveraging this. Um, under that enhancement, we also cover all the product updates and upgrades as well. So you're, you're able to get the latest uh, delivery delivery such as NAV 2013 when it's released next month. Um, your transition investment credit allows you to uh, take your investment in Dynamics and uh, apply that to another Dynamics ERP product if it makes sense moving forward. So if you found that one of our other ERP products was a better fit for where your business was going, then by all means you can take this, uh, your initial investment in Microsoft Dynamics and move that to another product. We're really, once again, all about flexibility. Um, you know, starting from that hybrid cloud discussion I had earlier, you know, telling telling you that I, you know, we're not going to sit there and force you onto a on-premise or in a cloud all one way or the other. The same thing here. We're not going to, you know, force you onto one particular Dynamics product. You need to do what's best for your uh, business, and we're going to give you the choices uh, out there. Um, Protected list price is important, so this is essentially what you've paid. Uh, even though there's changes in the price, your protected list price is what you pay that enhancement maintenance on, and that basically locks in that lower price for, for future uh, service plan renewals. Um, support product lifecycle policy. Um, you can go out to Microsoft's website. We do have uh, a lifecycle uh, support for each of our products. Um, when you look at Dynamics, uh, we do have a uh, five-year um, starting with, I think it was NAV 2009, if I'm not mistaken, but you had a five-year support, mainstream support, and then you had extended support uh, for another five years. So um, and that was something we can change, that we recently changed. So you can go out to our lifecycle support and look up the particular NAV product you're running and, and get some idea of what type of uh, support you have. And, when the product is, is going to be um, kind of, you know, moved to the next release. Um, there's also a knowledge base within this and, you know, uh, customer source, so make sure you're, aware, you're leveraging that as well. And then we have as much um, e-learning or online learning uh, that you want to take. So I think, you know, it's really important that you get your employees to go out there, set some, you know, annual goals where they go out and take some of this uh, e-learning, get their certifications, they can actually go out and sign up for testing centers and get tested and certified if they'd like as a career goal on NAV uh, financials, for example, distribution, manufacturing. So uh, it's something that, that I'd really make sure that your employees are kind of focused on achieving as, as just a good kind of uh, management kind of um, thought.